Hello, Beatles fans. I'm Sigrev2, and welcome to my channel. Yes, hello, everybody. As stated earlier, I'm Sigrev2, and thank you for visiting this channel, and thank you for clicking on this video. I do appreciate the view. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are taking another ranking. And this time, it's of the Beatles. Yeah, one of my favorite bands. I figured, hey, you know what? I'm already on this tier maker shit. Let's do another ranking, and this time of the Beatles. Uh, we have their 12 main studio albums here. Yes, I do believe that we are missing some stuff like Past Masters, but we can live without them. And just like my previous videos, I'm doing this live, minimal editing, so any mouth noises or burps or profanities, you're just gonna have to deal with them. I work better off the cuff, editing is a bitch. So, this is all personal opinion. Um, whether you like these albums or not, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you do like them. I don't know why you're watching a video about Beatles albums if you're not a big fan of the Beatles. And I don't know necessarily why you're coming to a channel like this if you don't know the Beatles and you're just trying to find out. But, I mean, if that's the case, then hopefully you learned something and uh, I'm glad you decided to choose me for the start of your adventure. Anyway... Enough rambling, let's get into this. We're already a minute and a half. Beatles, White Album. Where would I put that? It's a very fantastic record, but it's a fantastic record that has a lot of down moments. There's a lot of filler on this, unfortunately, and I know I'm probably going to get hung from the gallows by saying something like that, but you can't sit there and tell me with a straight face that something like Wild Honey Pie and Why Don't We Do It In The Road, you can't, you can't sit there with a straight face and tell me that those are artistically high in the merit score system i don't know I, I don't know i'm not good at improv i don't know what you expected but i do love the shit out of the album so it's going into s tier already we have an s tier album yeah that's that's what the beatles will do to you they really haven't put out very many bad things and well uh, next up, we have Let It Be. I'm a staunch Let It Be defender. I know that a lot of people have problems with Spectre's production on that. I think it does a lot of the work justice, and I will gladly put that shit into A tier. And then I, you know, I, 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 I can understand where people are coming from when they say they're not a big fan of it. I get it entirely. But I don't know how you can listen to that album and just not feel good. Uh, like, with stuff like get back and two of us and dig a pony it's it's just such a, a great album to listen to and have a good time with and stuff like one after one, 909 with you know it, it, harkening back to a good old time which is basically what the album's original concept was to get back to their roots and with stuff like that how i think they succeeded granted in the early Beatles mania day, Beatle mania days, they wouldn't have made anything like the long and winding road. But then again, it also didn't stop them from doing stuff like yesterday either. So, A tier. Revolver. This isn't even gonna be a controversial pick. This is going in S tier. This is probably at the current moment of this ranking probably my favorite Beatles album spoiler alert for anyone looking forward to the end of the video and seeing where everything's everything is at revolver is probably my favorite although Abbey Road which you can see here it is very strong competition and I do love me some Abbey Road I do love me some Abbey Road it has some of my favorite songs that they've ever done but so does revolver and Abbey Road was mixed significantly better I'm having a bit of turmoil right now because I don't know whether I would have this at above or below Revolver. I just said, uh, I just spoiled the ending of the video by saying Revolver would be number one. Would I be rude enough to lie? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be rude enough. It's my video, my ranking. Yeah. Spoiler alert, Abbey Road is now my favorite Beatles album right now. With the Beatles, uh, not not very good. Significantly full of filler and unnecessary material. And I understand that they had deadlines to me and things to do. Like Beatles Mania was in full swing at that time. And I get it. But 
God, the album suffers tremendously from the the filler. Like, there's so much downtime and unnecessary moments that I, I I never find myself seeking that one out to listen to ever. I would rather listen to the Yellow Submarine orchestral tracks than most of the songs on there. A uh, similar boat with Please Please Me, although I do like it much, much more than with the Beatles. Uh, there, there is a lot of filler, and it's to be understood. They recorded that entire thing in about 10 hours, I believe. Pretty much just shotgunning through it. And... Like, I get it. It's, a very, it's an amateur effort. It's their first album, so I can't give them too much flack for having filler content on it and even some of the filler that's on it is pretty catchy pretty groovy but i can't sit here and justify it ranking any higher than c even the best the absolute best stuff on that album not even comparable to the stuff that's in the s tier now beatles for sale this one this one is going to get me some questionable comments because I know a lot of people don't like this album. I know a lot of people would probably say it's their worst album. I cannot agree. I've grown to love this album so much that there were actually points in time where I would have considered it my favorite album from them. But realistically, I can't put it any higher than A. I think trying to justify it being better than what I currently have in the S tier is just simply impossible to do. But, God, I do love me some Beatles for sale. I could go on for an eternity talking about all the different shit on that I love. Like, No Reply and Words of Love. God, the Words of Love cover on that is so fucking groovy. What You're Doing. Um, oh my goodness, there's just so much. Like, Babies in Black. I don't know how you can listen to Babies in Black and not be in love with that but a tier gotta be re gotta be reasonable here as much as i love it is it better than tomorrow never knows is it better than here comes the sun i don't think so uh rubber soul is an interesting case i don't i i, I fucking love <laughs> I, I love it i love rubber soul but i can't put it any higher than a tier I can't. I feel bad for doing it because there's so much good music on that. Like, Nowhere Man and Drive My Car and and has one of my favorite songs that they've ever done, You Won't See Me, on there. But then it's got shit like Run For Your Life. And I can't. I, I, I This is one of the few songs that I actively skip whenever I'm listening to any any album, not just the Beatles. There's only a small handful of songs I will actively skip, and to me, Rubber Soul ends with um, Think For Yourself. Or not Think For Yourself. If I Needed Someone. I, I, got, I get the George tracks mixed up. But yeah, it basically ends with If I Needed Someone. Uh, there, there's no way around that. I refuse to listen to Run For Your Life, and that's why it's not in S tier. And also, realistically... I. It's, it's high moments are very high, but I can't, I can't sit there and tell you that I would rather listen to a lot of that over stuff from Beatles for Sale or the White Album. I mean, like I said, you won't see me one of my favorite songs that they've ever done, and that will probably never change. But I, that song in Nowhere Man alone can't justify me ranking it any higher when it's got stuff like Run For Your Life and Norwegian Wood. I've never been a big fan of that song, and I, 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 I don't like it lyrically, sonically. It just sounds like a weaker Within You, Without You. And speaking of Within You, Without You, here's Sgt. Pepper's. I go through phases with Sgt. Pepper's. There's times where I absolutely love it, like when the remixed version came out in 2017. I was all about that shit. But it's grown off me so much. There's just not enough substance in a lot of that, honestly. I, I feel bad for doing it because of how iconic it is, but it's going into B. It has to go into B. There's... I cannot sit here and tell you that stuff like fixing a hole and she's leaving home I'm not gonna sit here and puff your noodle and tell you that that shit's 
higher up in terms of ranking. I mean, yeah, it's got lovely Rita. It's got, uh, with a little help from my friends, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Getting Better. Getting Better is an amazing song. Probably one of, another one of my favorite songs that the Beatles have done. But is it justifiable for so much of the downtime on there? I mean, I'll give Rubber Soul shit for Run For Your Life. At least it doesn't have a benefit being for the benefit of Mr. Kite, which I can't justify that at all. Like, even... Mm -mm. No, that is filler to an absolute T, and the fact that they included that on the album, but not Strawberry Fields Forever or Penny Lane, which were two of the very first songs they recorded for the project, you're going to tell me that when I'm 64 and being for the benefit of Mr. Kite are more worthy of being on an album than those two. Well, we'll talk more about those songs maybe when we get to Magical Mystery Tour. But right now, we're at Help, which I also will stick in B-Tour. B-Tier. <laughs> stick in that in B-Tier. And, uh... Help is one of those albums I never gravitate towards. I don't have a problem with it at all, but... There's really not much there for me to bite on. It has some decent songs. The title track is fantastic, and I also like stuff like I Need You. And um, Yesterday is, of course, a, a beautiful, beautiful song. I don't know how you can listen to Yesterday and, and, and not feel it tug at your heartstrings. Like, you must be one cold motherfucker. But everything else on that, it just... I have no drive to listen to most of it. But even with that said, I, I don't dislike any of the songs on it. I just don't want to listen to a good chunk of it. I find it weird, like, with my ranking so far. With most people, they would probably have better placements, and I'm kind of just winging it. Which is the most, you know, I have fun. I'm having fun just winging it and shooting the shit and talking about this kind of stuff. It just feels weird because there's like, there's albums with songs I absolutely hate listed above, well above albums in the C tier, which I find predominantly mediocre and amateurish. Like, there's not really songs that I hate in the C tier, but Rubber Soul in the A tier has a song that I literally refuse to listen to, and Sgt. Pepper has songs which I would put in the absolute bottom tier. But, you know, this is my ranking, and at the end of the day, you know, I'm just having fun. This isn't a definitive ranking. As much silly shit as I might say, like, oh, well, this is my objective ranking, ladies and gentlemen, and everything that I say is correct. I'm just having some fun. So, like, don't... This isn't set in stone... This is just me having a good time. Next up, wow. Next up, we have A Hard Day's Night. I really want to put this in S tier, believe it or not. I love the shit out of this. There's not a single bad song on there. I find myself listening to this one often, along with Beatles for Sale. But with Beatles for Sale, I can realistically put that into A tier. Because I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, everybody's trying to be my baby is a fantastic artistic peak. Because it's not. It, it's not. And I can understand why people don't like that album, but A Hard Day's Night, there's n nothing that I hate on there. I could listen to that album on loop for probably the rest of my life, and I wouldn't have a problem with it. But I can't, I can't put it in S tier. I can't. I want to, but I can't. I'm struggling here. I'm over here like, oh, well, it's my list. Everything goes where I should put it. But I'm also trying to be realistic here. Where would I put A Hard Day's Night? I want to put it in S tier. But is the material that good? I'm putting it in A tier. I'm putting it above... I'm put. I'm gonna try to put it above. You know, there we go. Top of the A tier, for now. But what do I think about Magical Mystery Tour? It's it's going into S tier. Like that's not even a question. Um, Magical Mystery Tour is 
absolutely amazing. A definite fundamental album. If you're ever getting into the Beatles, that is easily one of the best points you could get to first and foremost. Like, I don't know how you can sit there and tell me an album with shit like Hello Goodbye, uh, Strawberry Fields Forever, Penny Lane, All You Need Is Love. Like, I, I can understand not being a big fan of the first half of the record, which is more of a soundtrack for the Magical Mystery Tour movie, because I, I'm i not going to sit here and say, oh, well, you know, Flying is one of the Beatles' best, because it's not. But, I mean, The Fool on the Hill, Magical Mystery Tour, the song itself, I Am the Fucking Walrus. I mean, come on. Even with the down moments like Your Mother Should Know When Flying, and I'm not a big fan of Baby, You're a Rich Man, but the highs on that are so ungodly high that it's not even funny. <laughs> it's not even funny. Like, I guess you could say, like, well, you know, Sgt. Pepper has a day in the life. Why didn't you put that in S tier? Well, unfortunately for you, I'm not too big on a, a day in the life I don't dislike it but I think people are overhyping that way too hard but I mean Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane and 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 all the other good shit on that that's well deserving of the praise that it gets I can't put it higher than white I want to but I can't because white has so many strong songs on there it's it's disgusting. When the Beatles hit their stride, they hit their fucking stride hard. And that's one of the main things that I love about this band is that it, it like, like, give them shit for their lyrics. Give them shit for the Beatlemania stuff. Give them however much flack you want. When they are slapping, they're slapping. Okay. <laughs> so, this is at the current moment in time my official Beatles album tier list in C tier at the absolute bottom we have with the Beatles and then we have please please me and then we have help and then Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club end and then Rubber Soul let it be Beatles for sale A Hard Day's Night Magical Mystery Tour self-titled Revolver and at number one Abbey Road do you agree with my list? Probably not. I can understand people not agreeing with this list, but do you like what you've seen? Do you dislike it? Let me know in the comments below. I had a fun time making this, and I shall be back soon with another ranking of some sort. Um, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't be a stranger. This is SigRev2.